Hi, my name's John. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the decoupling of model training and data generation in our new Mostly AI V200. I'm going to talk about two roles, the role of the creator and the role of the consumer. I'm going to start in the role of the creator. So as you can see on screen is our new UI, and I'm going to start by uploading some data from my local machine. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use the bank marketing data set. So the first page we're going to see here is the data configuration. As you can see, the columns and the encoding types are neatly tucked away. Move on to configure the model. Same again, all of the options are neatly tucked away. And I'm just going to make one small change and set the max training time for a predictable one minute. And what happens next is pretty cool. What we're going to see is our new high performance, low latency PyTorch engine in action. It's going to fetch, analyze and encode the training data before training a Gen AI model for exactly 60 seconds. That's going to create a generator. Why do we call it a generator? Well, you use a generator to generate synthetic data. And that's where the role of the consumer comes in. So once the training of the AI model begins, let's open up the training log here. And this is pretty cool. You get to see the inner workings of how our model is training that generator. So you can see each of the epochs, the number of samples, the validation loss, and the duration per epoch. And what our product is going to do is select the highest performing model for synthetic data generation. Let me close out of that and let the rest of the training run through. And I'll draw your attention to the top of the screen here where you see description field. So in my role as a creator, I'm typically that person in the organization who has access to production data. And I'm training this generator to capture the insights of that production data so I can share it downstream with consumers in the business. So what's handy is I can uh, describe the generator before folks downstream get access to it to understand what insights they might have. So I'm going to call this bank marketing data for data analysts and done. So as we're adding the description, the model training is completed and the final two steps are just about to finish. Um, as you can see, a great example of our low latency model in action and each of the steps running through in a very quick time. And there you go, congratulations, your generator is ready. Use it to create synthetic data, share it so that others can do the same. Now, in my role as a creator, I'm gonna do the latter and I'm gonna share this generator. Before I do, let me just open the model report and quickly check that the accuracy is of sufficient quality before I share it any further. So you can see the overall accuracy here is 97.7%. The correlation matrices look good. The univariate distributions look tidy and the bivariate distributions look great as well. Okay, I've seen enough. Let me go back on to the UI and share this generator. And click add and now that generator has been shared and i'll switch over to the role of the data consumer okay and we're back now i'm going to perform the role of a data consumer typically when you enter the most ai platform you will peruse the generators to see all of the pre-trained gen ai models available i'm going to use the generator that we just trained in the previous video and as you can see the accuracy uh, is 97.7 percent and i'm going to click generate synthetic data so our low latency model um, is going to be in action here again, and it's going to finish very quickly. But let me just quickly switch over to the previous synthetic data set that I already created to show you what it's going to look like. So you can see here the uh, previous job is complete. The data insights report at the top um, is available. You can download the model or data reports. This is pretty cool as well. You can see all of the synthetic samples already available in your UI, and you can sample through at your will to see different synthetic subjects. And then when you're ready, you can download the synthetic data in CSV, Parquet, or XL file. And that's it. That's the decoupling of model training and data generation. Thanks for watching.